seems like every time I do Ironman Arizona, I get into a nice fast swim group, which then slowly degrades into a freak show of geometry and slothiness. Maybe the leader of my group every year was napping while they covered tangents and angles in fifth grade math. Of course, swimming faster is a pretty solid solution to my dilemma. Somehow I just knew that I'd be towing around a group on the bike. I'm not quite strong enough to ride away from everyone on a course like this, unlike Rapstar. I want to be a rap superstar. I knew Victor Del Corral was behind me, but figured he wouldn't run as well as he did two weeks ago in Florida. Wrong. That guy is a clever fox. I was like, hey Victor, want to take a turn up front? What the fuck, I rode hard trying to shake him, but... Kids got alligator blood. Can't get rid of him. Onto the run in third, I felt pretty awful for the first few miles. Not awful like it was game over, but certainly awful like it was going to be the least pain-free 42-kilometer run of my life. At one point, Heather was loudly trying to give me splits, but because I needed to ask her something, to me it sounded more like... So I said, shush. The one and only time I will ever shush my wife without getting in trouble is at mile 14 of an Ironman marathon. Apparently, guy on the sidelines was like, Did he just shush you? It felt like I was passed by all of Europe. First Spanish Fox, then Denmark, then France. But I caught Portugal, who then, like his ancestor, fought back to crush my New World aspirations. In the end, the Fox won. I fell back to six in a time of eight hours, twelve minutes, ten minutes back to Victor. In times like this, I like to reflect on the wise words of Hulk Hogan. It's not whether you win or whether you lose. The only thing that matters is what kind of winner you are or what kind of loser you are.